Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of another Italian game in, or campaign, in Hearts of Iron 4, which we're playing as this Benito guy. Benito, Benito, Benito. But we're not going to go and stay with him. We're going to be successful in Ethiopia, but we're going to convene the Grand Council of Fun. Yeah, Grand Council of Fun, that's the F word we're looking for, but we're doing Italian highways. The ancient Romans built roads, they were the envy of the entire world. Now the upstart Germans believe that their autobahn is far spirit than anything we could build. I'll prove them wrong. Immediately, then we'll go to Army Primacy. Sure. In the last and final instance, war is won by putting soldiers under enemy soldiers or to oil. I'm taking the things that the enemy needs to wage war. While the Navy and Air Force are doubtless a useful organization, it's the army that will win the war, followed by railway innovations. Every, even the back in the age of the automobile. Even today. A strong railway network is the backbone of a strong economy. Further expansion of the railways in Italy serves for future growth. Investments in Edison. Italy boasts the very first power plant in Europe and has always been on the forefront of technology. With investment in Edison Company, we can ensure that we remain in the lead. And expand national universities. For technologically advanced nations such as ours, there is always a need for more engineers. But we've identified our universities as the biggest bald enough for educating enough new experts to keep a country competitive. Uh, we'll do solid progress. Uh, we'll do this one with auto bypass once we're done too. You want to do this, please go ahead. We'll have Triumph in Africa as well, too, if you'd like to hear about that. But then we'll move on over to convene the Grand Council. We must convene the Grand Council of Fun to discuss what to do about Musu, Musu Dudu, the, the, the guy. This leader is foreign in Ethiopia and willing to share power responsibilities left many questioning his capabilities as a leader. He served his country well in the very face of uh, fun, but it might be time for new leadership. And, which in case we're going to depose this guy eventually, time's coming to oust the dude from power. Proving himself to be an incompetent leader that has dragged a beloved Italy through unnecessary hardships and tested its resilience and well past the breaking point. Well, Shadow might loom larger worse for some time to come. And these people will prevail because we're going to get some dino guys. A dino. Dino. A, a dino. Grandi. Dino. A dinosaur. We need someone who's diplomatically savvy and who's not afraid to reorganize old institutions where to prosper. The dino dude has served as his foreign minister in reforming the diplomatic class, just opening them up to other people besides the nobles. He won't shy away from making the necessary reforms of pushing Italy into a brighter, greater, new f uh, the future. Yeah, he's a silver tongue, dude. You know, he's a silver tongue. Just for World War Times. And not bad. with the Ethiopia, now Italian, and Germany in civil war, we're going to go to war with France because... Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we can do well. Ooh, boy. You know what? You guys help do this as well. Help guard some convoys for now. You can't really do much of a job there, but that's alright. Hey, look. We've landed. Hey, look. We've landed. Let's see if we can actually keep it up. You want to attack there? Alright. We can do that too. Um, in the meantime, don't let these guys move too much. As long as we get one of these tiles, that's what I really care about. Uh, expand National Universities is good. Where's our army traditions? There are many ideas floating around these days about new ways to wage war. While some of these probably have some merit, the foundation of any successful army has not changed since the days of Caesar. Discipline, individual courage, and capable leadership. A royal wedding would be nice. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. 90 some percent. And, oh boy. Hey! It was not good fleet. Nice. Uh, we're gonna go this one next to. Five research slots. Beautiful, my friends. Radio, yes, please. Synthetic oil. Nice. Better artillery. Come on, god dang it, we need the port. Come on. Come on. Why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so long? They destroyed a division because these guys took way too long. That's pathetic. That's absolutely pathetic, man. Come on. Well, you know what? Screw it. You deserve to lose then. You guys hold. You guys do this. The rest of you all. Hold as well. Because all I wanted you to do was do that and then do it. Now I guess I'm going to go out. You guys are going to do this too. Hello. Oh, it's a carrier. Beautiful, my friends. And you guys are doing what? Uh, we can get up to there, maybe. Yeah, why not? Let's see. We'll send you guys here, and we'll send you all here, too. You might just be able to do well. Maybe, maybe not. German Reich was annexed. Can we just go up and around them, maybe? So German Civil War ends. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We have no fuel, of course. Whatever. We might need to spot more fuel. Oh, USA. Yep, Soviet Union time. Perfect amount. You guys, infantry experts. We are making more divisions, but we don't have that many guns, do we? No, we do not. And now you guys are going to be trying to go in as much as fast as possible. This might take a little bit of time for us, though. Alright, so you guys are failing so hard, it's not even funny. Okay, this is really bad. This is pathetically bad. You guys are going to hold. I don't care what happens, you're all going to go right there. They have been in the area. We're going to go right there. Bro. There you go. And... There you go. More fuel is nice. So I'm to right there too. Do that and circle and destroy these guys and... And then we'll be good. Hopefully. 
Hey, hey, well, at least it was only one. You guys just to hold out here. Good. You might be able to help them out there. You might be able to push taking these guys out to go there to there. I don't know, I've completely forgot about Africa, but whatever. It is what it is. It's only Africa, right? That's what we normally think of Africa, right? Exactly. How are we losing? I, I just don't understand. We should not have... They should not have air superiority either, but, you know... Uh... Guys? Your plane should be over here. Yeah... How? Over a river, of all things. Uh, I'm gonna go this one next. Thank you. You all hold as much as you can. We should not be having any supply issues either. Could we go from here to here? Yeah, we could. Let them continue over there. They're going to be fighting over there for a while. And we're not, even though we are struggling a little bit, uh, we don't actually need that. We could use one of these guys right here. And we're also going to go with overwhelming firepower. Now, we're not going to have enough guns for this, but we're going to increase the size of these divisions. Actually, you can get back to that one. Just all infantry for now. Uh, that'd be good enough for now, too. And... Yeah, get that, too. Now, let's destroy our ship somewhat. Come on. Come on. Send you guys down there, too. Two divisions. Where are they lacking? They're lacking all across the border as well. Even though we kind of are as well. Not very good. Um, can I just have to do anything there, maybe? Preserving traditions would be good. Uh, Ezracito, Supercito. Supercito, Ezracito. Oh, support. It's coordinating a lot of drivers on an easy, easy undertaking. We need to create a structure for Supreme Command, which can guide and support the forces in the field. You should be done by now with this one. Like, come on. This is stupid. You should have been done months ago with that one. Number up. Yep, down there. Yeah, kill them all off right here. Right here. Support weapons are nice. 36 uh, armor trains. Sure, why not? You should be able to win here. Should be able to win here and here. Good god, they're trying to break through, aren't they? Nice. Kill them all off. And now, at this point, the convoys can start just going to town on them, too. Good. Don't let him move from here. Industrialization probably going about that, but go ahead. And you can do that too. One of these two has got to fall. No more, no less. One of these three's got to got to go. You are doing okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do not say, but this is on a historical, so we'll see. Uh, close care support because I love Cass. Uh, they can't give us their stuff, huh? Terrible. Come on. And then army leaders. Why not? Our armies must always be allowed with the most capable officers available. It's imperative that we create a city flow of new and common officers to maintain that advantage. Pretty much. Oh, and we have more here, too. So we got that guy now. I want the dinosaur guy. Minister of Justice. Hmm. Ideological Crusader. The Demagogue. This guy seems pretty good. Revoke the Acerbo Law, huh? Or get more shipping stuff right now. Or get a guy here. It's cheaper. 30.3.3. Oh, we'll do that one. Why not? Tragic air crash. Oh no! When I'm not to inspect the French border, French chief of air force, Aldo Pellegrini's and General Pietro Pintor's airplane encounters engine problems. The aircraft crashed, leaving no one alive on board. It has lost two fine officers. And that sucks. That really sucks. A lot. You guys are over here, right? Yeah, so you just go in there and do that. Good. Good. You guys go in here. Good. Infantry stuff. 
Um, what do we have here? Engineering schools. It's not bad. Inventive leadership. Obviously, it's not the best way to do this, but if I can take out France now, it's fine with me. Smoke and fire breakthrough. Sure. We can use that honestly right now. Hey, convoy gone. Nice. More convoys gone. Nice. Good. Thank God we got that done. Finally, we can do this. Go ahead. And Poland's in Civil War too now. Nice. What happened here? Oh my god. Nice. We lost all the convoys. We're going to lose a lot of guys here, but that's okay. They lost more than us, and that's what matters. Level 5 already, huh? I'm going to wait for that just a little bit to see what else we can do. Um, grand Battle Plan. Well, we're not going to go with that one, so. War economy would be nice. That would be the best one to do. Did you guys actually do anything here? Probably not, and I'll also using tanks for that. Probably shouldn't send my tanks up here, but that's okay. We keep seeing their convoys and whatnot. They're looking very weak as well, even though North Africa, we've lost all of that, whatever. Oh, Spain's in Civil War too. But I do apologize for taking so long with this. I did want to get rid of the Dino person here. You guys go here. Actually, you know what? You guys do this. You guys just go around. And choke them up. Radio's nice. Radar, convoys, and artillery. They can see to the trade unions, which is fine for us because we don't really care about them at all. Uh, oh, more convoys, very nice. Yeah, it's 1937. Grab some of this. Claw's been invoked, but no one cares. Armored trains are nice ish, depending on who you ask. Do tank, naval stuff. Machine guns, that's a little bit ahead of time, which I don't like that's ahead of time, but whatever. Uh, let me get some fuel. Probably put some fuel throughout this entire campaign, probably, in all honesty. There we go, do that too. And, uh, Italian tickets. We get another factory, but probably Fiocchi Muzioni. Fiocchi is long supplied our armed force with high quality ammo. A safe supply of ammo and bottles is vital in the wars that come, so we should ensure that Fiocchi works are up to the task. Pretty much, man, pretty much. It's fine. Slowly but surely, we're getting there, and they are losing a lot of guys, just like us, but still. There we go. Battle bow. Spain declared one Spanish commune. Ooh, we could have gotten a scroll there, too. That would have been really bad. Ship. Okay, any better yet? Nope. Uh, maybe more anti air, perhaps. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, we lost a really sub. That's alright. Happens. I'll give him one more. Go with two of these then. Right. Defense. 99,000 versus 200,000. That's not bad, actually. More factories are good. Town tank gets. All other countries might develop even larger, even heavier tanks in search of the super tank that will render all other tanks obsolete. What's not the best tank is a tank that's actually on the field. A tank must be fast enough to go wherever needed in time, and it only needs armor heavy enough to withstand rifles. Such a vehicle will be cheap and quick to produce, at least in theory. Nice spot promoted. Nice. Um, tragic death of Telebubba. No! A field marshal tell the bubble has been shot down by a friendly fire over the skies of Libya. A misidentification led to anti air batteries opening fire and shooting down his plane from the sevens. General Giuseppe Talera, who traveled in a different airplane, survived the accident but has been routed by the experience. A devastating blow. Bro, we're barely in it. We're barely there. I have kind of a feeling that that's made up, but whatever. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting through here, but a couple more focuses, such as increased artillery production. The Great War is primarily a war of artillery. We have to assume that the next war will also be fought primarily by artillery. We must not allow ourselves to fall behind in the field. 
uh, air innovations. Air war in the air has become one of the decisive fields of modern warfare. We cannot allow ourselves to fall behind the crucial area. Expand Rome Flying School. With the growing complexity of modern planes comes an increased risk of accidents of pilots are insufficiently trained. We must ensure that our flying schools keep pace with technical developments. In terms of training quality as well as keeping pace with demands of new pilots caused by our growing military. Well, it was kind of a grind, as we can all tell. We lost 200,000 people, but uh, we're here. Um, 96%. We're all, uh, well, almost there. Once we get, probably take Bordeaux. Because at this point, their lines are so thin, it doesn't really matter. We've done a lot, well, maybe not a lot better, but better than I thought we would, because this could be something really messy. And there we go, we have 94 guns left. Nice. In the meantime, since it's only us, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take the Navy. Thank you. Oh, that's not all I want. Uh, demands, and then uh, take states. Could pop with them all, but... Africa's going to look so much better. Alright, successful industrialization program. Oh, I guess we did an objective too. The newly built factories have been hailed by Mussolini as the first steps in modernization of Italian industries. Ducci is very pleased with how this raises the production capacity of the country, now allowing him to further vision for Greater Italy. First steps of greatness. I forgot about that. We don't need more guns though. Sport equipment, trucks, uh, planes, medium airframes. We don't even have any fighters. Huh? We gotta make some fighters, man. Basic airframes. Oh, shit, not spend all that. Air, right, deep, whatever. Hey, and we've now the Olympic Games with the German Empire here. Um, well, I don't want to care if we go to war with them. I do kind of want to go to war with them, though. What if we went to war with Belgium? But they're democratic. Uh, these guys are turning slowly communist, changing course. Well, it looks like they're going communist. They might be going fascist, too. So, we'll see about that. Anyone guaranteeing Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, these guys? Ding, dong, ding, ding. Yeah, that might actually not be bad. Is it a war with them? Or is it a war with these guys? Will they be guaranteed by anybody? Oh, they're guaranteed by the British. Look at all that political power we have. Uh, pass by. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get that, so. Ethiopia still resists. That sucks, but, you know, whatever. Um, research. Let's go with. I always do industry stuff. I'm still only building up infrastructure, really, right now, too. And I always choose, um, like, Agip. Agip? So I want to choose something different. So you choose you. Expand room flying school. Um, other than that, I'm not choosing too many other things. I usually don't do this much, but I guess we haven't done this one. So if you do this one, please go to head. Uh, and then Trump in Africa too, which will get done. We'll convene the Grand Council. We've got to convene to do what we do about Benito. His latest foreign Ethiopian and willing to share power responsibilities sp responsibility has left many questioning his capabilities as a leader. He his country was on his face of uh, fun, but it might be time for new leadership maybe? Yeah, maybe. In the meantime, we are going to go and continue training as much as we possibly can. Oh my god, we got the French Navy. I forgot about that. That's, uh, well, doesn't look like great ships, but you know what? There are ships, nonetheless. Well, as you can see on screen, we've just invaded the UK. Um, well, we got a couple fleets here. Where are the capital ships? There's task forces, I guess, and subs, but um, we just finished. Which focus now? Um, uh, the new empire, emperor of Ethiopia. Well, the people of Ethiopia fled under emperor for centuries. It would obviously make our task far simpler if we could just present them with a new emperor and replace their old one by crowning our king as new emperor. Works out. Um, but yeah, that works pretty... Oh, we can go this way too, by the Duce. Oh, we can go that way and have an Italian Civil War, but at this point, I don't think it'd be smart to do. Sette dell'aria? Our research efforts have long been spread across many different areas of the country. It's made things quite inefficient, which combined research efforts and found a sky city in which scientists and engineers from many different fields of city can work together building build new generations of planes, but... Yeah, um, usually when I set this up, it usually works pretty darn well for us. Um, with how we do this, like, just like... Just set it to naval invasion support for the main task force, and then just kind of go in. Of course, uh, they're killing us here, but still. Ooh, that was like a, a couple convoys, a couple planes go bye-bye. These guys, I, I couldn't tell you where the heck these divisions are at. Like, what the heck? Because the UK, there's one over there. These guys still have what? They still have 20, before 24 to 106 divisions. So, the fall of London. A town of successfully stormed London, the Il Tricolor has been hoisted over the Victoria Tower. Minor fighting continues in some parts of the city, and in an incident this morning, several Bersaglieri were gone down by snipers hitting on the top of Big Ben. Out of three attempts, failed attempts to dislodge them, the entire clock tower was brought down by the demolition charges and what Italian officials are described as a regrettable overreaction by the local commander. Oh, the conquest for Italy. As long as we can move fast enough, I mean, they won't be able to muster defense. Um, they're going to be killing them. They're just murdering our convoys, probably. We've been embargoed by Sweden. Well, okay. Oh, God. If we throw enough troops at this, it should go okay, right? Oh, here goes our... Oh, boy. Oh, shnikes. Oh, we got our boys in here now. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm still not too worried about this. Go to Birmingham. Get all the way over here. Go to Liverpool. 
Leeds, Hull, Newcastle, Cockermouth. Uh. Okay. All right then. Whoa! Look at that naval XP. Naval XP just accelerating like crazy. We almost got him. Oh god. It looks like we're going to rebuild the navy. But then again, if we can take the British navy, ooh. We lost two heavy destroyers, 12 destroy, 12 d cruisers. No, 12 destroyers, two heavy cruisers, whatever. You know what, as long as we get the British Navy, I'm okay with that. You know, the British Navy is a nice thing to have. Scottish Highlands, Dundee. Look at all that naval speed, Jesus Christ. Oh god, yeah, they're really just destroying us here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, I guess this is technically also part of the French Navy, too, so. Yeah, they're just they're literally just destroying our entire fleet. Well, Snikes. Oh, this is one of the worst naval battles we've ever had. How have they not given up yet? Usually, you need to give up by this point. They almost always give up by this point. I guess it's probably because we don't have Plymouth. That's probably why. Look what happy guys. Happy guys go here. Okay, see, no, there we go. See, not bad. So they destroyed our navy. So we'll take everything that they have too. So, all right, we'll take this. We'll take this. So, I mean, there was a huge struggle to beat France up, and then once we take these guys, I mean, now we have like no guns because we'll need to do all this stuff. But we lost 18 subs, and now we have the navy. Go figure. You know, um, we lost our original navy, but <laughs> why make your own? We could just steal other people's navies. You know? There you go. Here, uh, you know, just combine you guys now into this group. Uh, we need all subs. There you go. You know, how big is America's army right now? I love Canadian Italy. Um, Schnikes. You know, we might just be able to take them out too. We'll see, though. And you know, I still finally want to do, like, Mussolini stuff. Oh, wait, total dominance. Oh, crap, that's not good. Because we do need to go all the way over here and get this one done, so. Uh, as less than 1%, huh? What is this one? Topple Amada rulers. Ethiopia is a far more diverse and splintered country than most believe. There are many groups that are not strong supporters of the old Ethiopian regime. Giving them some small concessions would easily turn them to our side and make it far easier to pass by the region. So that's going to take forever to... Uh, I'm gonna guess that would make sense why he's so strong right now, um, but praise the Navy. Well, most of he's done really well for himself here. He's done very, very well for some, himself. But uh, you know, whatever. Can I stay, boy? I guess convening would be pretty difficult at this point. Hmm. Let's match with imaginal line. I guess, you know, if he takes out these guys, that would make a lot of sense why he did so well. Still. Um, so dispose him. I might have to replay this then and get, get this done then. But we still want the dinosaur. I like the dinosaur. Dinosaur is fun. Consolidate power, maybe? We grew up with the part in the country that at large remains weak. We must consolidate what power we have and bolster our regime by showing the public that we're strong and dependable as ever before. So, I might redo that. Just because Anglo, oh, this also auto completed too, so just because I want to get the guy in and it might take us a little bit longer, might not, depending on how fast I can move things between the end of the French War to now, but uh, we'll kind of see. Diving bombers, naval power projection, uh, Mills comms industry, the new field of radio detection and range, finding 
officers many opportunities and was also become an important area of military technology. Let's sure that they keep up with the developments in the area and ministry of Italian Africa. The various trials and people of Africa cannot be handled like we might deal with other subject peoples. And mention these areas require a different approach. So I think we're gonna do this just a little bit to see what we can make anything else different. But I think we're gonna end it there. So at the beginning of the next episode, we should no longer have this guy because well, we probably won't. Because at this point, I guess I we were too successful and Mussolini has basically taken out all his enemies. Well, for the most part. But hey, we'll start on the next episode, maybe taking out the Soviet the, the United States, which they are democratic, and then we'll go from there. Because the USSR is led by some Derenik Svetlov, who looks... Huh. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we'll see what we can do with the rest of this Italian campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!